So we have our video, we have our text here. We have chosen the multiple videos we're gonna be using for each of the scenes here. And now if we really wanna make the video unique, the best next thing that you can do using this software is to add a voiceover. Now it's pretty simple to do. You simply click on advanced editor and it's gonna give you way more options for you to either add music, text, or if you wanna add a voiceover, it's quite simple to do. You simply click on the scene and click on this little link that says add voiceover. So it's going to allow you to upload your own voiceover if you wanna do that, to record your own voiceover from within the software. And at the same time, you can add an automated voiceover. So if you click on automated voiceover, and click on generate voiceover here. Hey, my name is Celeste Diaz, and in this channel we talk about making money online, affiliate marketing, social media marketing, and everything in between. So if you're new, consider subscribing. So today I wanna to show you an online video editing software called InVideo. Now InVideo actually reached out to me and asked me if I could review their platform. And so I've been testing their platform for the past few days, playing around with many of the features that they have. And it's quite similar to other platforms that I've been using, but this one actually has more features and more things to do for a lower price. So what I'm gonna show you today is how you can easily create any type of social media video, especially if you're building Facebook pages or if you're doing any type of online advertisements using video, how you can easily create videos for your pages, for advertisements, for Instagram using in video. So I'm not gonna waste any more time. Let's jump right into it. All right guys, so let's dive into this review for in video. So I wanna show you some of the main features, some of the things that I really like that I personally use to create videos for Facebook. Now you can use in video to create any type of video. As you can see, you simply select the type of video that you want to create. So for example, let's say you want to create a video for a Facebook story, a YouTube video, Instagram story, Facebook news feed, or Instagram post. So you simply select which one, which format you want to select. And in this case, I have selected the YouTube landscape. I would select the Facebook news feed, and basically it's going to pull different pre-made templates that I can use uh, to edit the text, add, change the music, change the videos, and just create a brand new video. You can see that they have a ton of different templates that you can edit uh, to create any type of videos that you want to create. But I wanna show you uh, the main feature that I really like about InVideo, and it's something that I've been using with another software. Perhaps you heard me mention this software before in my channel. It's called Lumen5, and it's a software that I've been using for quite a while to create videos for my Facebook pages. And before seeing everything that you could do with InVideo, I thought that Lumen5 was basically the only one allowing you to create this type of videos that I needed for my Facebook pages. But now, I wanna show you the main feature that I really like about InVideo, and it's called Article to Video. So if we click on it, you can see that there's different templates that you can select, and you can change everything about this template. So you simply pick a template that you wanna select. So in this case, let's say that I wanted to select uh, this template right here. And I can choose the format for this template. So I can choose Y16 by nine or a square format if I wanted to use it for something like Instagram. So if I were to select the Y16 by nine, I can simply just click on use this template and then it'll take me to a page like this. Now what I did is I simply took some text and I put it on a notepad and I copy and pasted this text on the script section of InVideo. And as you can see, what happens is that I can create different scenes using this text. So in this case, this one is the title of my video. Then we have another scene where we have the different text here for uh, one of the slides and then another one. If I want to separate that, I can simply just click enter and it's going to split this into two different sections. And at the same time, you can see another scene with more of the text and I can do the same thing. I can split it, I can erase this text, I can duplicate this slide if I wanted to, and I can also change any aspect of this scene. So as you can see, there's two videos here. So if I wanted to add another media, so for example, let's say that I wanted to either remove this one or add another one, I could just search for what I'm looking for and it's going to look for millions and millions of clips that I can use with my video that are not copyrighted that I can use without any issues on my video. So in this case, I'm referring to something about news related. So I can just type something like newspaper and I can search 
for many different clips that I can use as a newspaper. So as you can see here, um, I can simply just drag this to this section right here. And now we can select, okay, do I want to use the entire video or only like a small clip of this video, like five seconds. I click on done. And now if I play the video, you can see how this is going to look and basically um, makes it really easy to edit and change everything about this specific scene. And in video has millions and millions of clips that you can use to create your own unique videos. So you can basically change and add anything that you want without fear of getting your videos removed by Facebook or YouTube. So the next thing that you would do is to add some background music. So they have a ton of different music which you can choose from. Uh, let's say that we're looking for something uh, a little bit uh, dramatic, for example, and they have different types of music depending on what type of mood you want for your video. You can see the time frame. You can lower the volume of uh, whatever song you want to put in the background of your video. And selecting that, adding that music to your video is as simple as clicking select. And that's it so once you select that music it's going to be added to your video and if you wanted to add something like a voiceover for example and you wanted to make sure that the music is not too loud you would simply just lower the volume of the music so it's kind of low in the background while your voiceover is actually playing but in case that you don't want to use any of this music of course they give you the option to upload your own files for you to use and talking about voiceovers voiceovers is one of the simplest things that you can do to your videos to make sure they're 100 percent unique so i click on the advanced editor to show you how simple it is to add a voiceover to your videos so if i wanted to add a voiceover to this specific scene right here i have multiple options so for example i click on add voiceover it's going to ask me to either upload one from my computer to record my own voiceover if i want to do that i can record uh, on my own or I can use one of their automated voiceovers. So basically, it's going to allow me to select what type of accent I want for my video. And even if I want a male or female voice for my videos, you can click and see how those voices sound before you add it to your video. And you can always remove that from your video anytime. So for this specific scene, I can simply click on generate voiceover. And you will click here to see how that actually sounds. And this one was one of the best ones that I found. The other voiceovers that I tested actually sounded a little bit more robotic. You can test different voices to see which ones actually sound better. One that I really like because it actually didn't sound very robotic. It actually sounded very natural. Now you won't be able to hear this, but let's say that you're really happy with that voiceover. You want to add a voiceover to all your scenes. All you have to do is click on add automated voiceovers for all scenes click here and it would automatically create a voiceover for all the scenes in your video so if i were to play the whole thing here for you um, you can see how that actually falls into place and it actually looks like a really good high professional high quality video now let's say that you wanted to change another aspect of your video, like you want to add some images or you want to add some more text. This is quite simple to do. They have different types of animation styles and text that you can add to your video to make it quite unique. You can even create conversation bubbles. You can see that just by clicking on it, I can simply just add some text if I wanted to make this uh, a little bit more personal, make it unique or makes if I had two people, I can make this into a conversation with some voiceover. And if you want to delete something, you can always click on delete or you can go back and save to your project and you can work on it later if you want to. Now, they also have stickers which you can add to your videos. Effects are another thing that you can add to your video and you can also find shapes. And actually editing all this information, it's quite simple. You simply click on top of the text and you can see that you can edit the style of the text you can edit the size uh, you can align your text in different ways you can change the color of your text drop shadow animation let's say you have a facebook page or an instagram page and you have a specific logo that you want to add to your video you can save that as a preset and add it to your video automatically without you having to go back and set the colors and set all of this because it's going to be saved in one of your projects so if you click on your account you can see 
you're going to have a section where it says my projects and then brand presets in brand presets you can create different brands that are going to be saved in your account so this is a little bit more advanced but if you want to go back to the simple storyboard section where you can simply just add the clips and make it uh, quite easy for anyone to use this is uh, the simplest way for you to create videos in basically a few minutes so once you're happy with your video all you have to do is click on preview and export it's going to basically render your video it's going to be saved to your computer and then you can upload it to your facebook page your instagram or your youtube channel so as you can see in video can be a very powerful tool allowing you to basically create as many videos as you want for social media especially if you're trying to build facebook pages and you're trying to mass produce videos if you want videos for instagram youtube facebook now you have a tool that can allow you to do all of that at the same time using voiceovers animations text pictures all of that you can do without having to download any software so i talked to in video and they gave me a very nice discount which you guys can check out by clicking the link in the description below the first link it's going to take you to the Nvidia homepage where you can check out all the features and everything that I just show you in this video. So guys, I really hope that this review video was helpful. If it was, make sure you hit that like button. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't subscribed already because I post videos like this every single week. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video.